So today I'm talking about a Nissan with the P0183 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is the Nissan P0183 code? Well, it's a fuel temperature sensor, a circuit high. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's a fuel temperature sensor and it's usually located on the fuel pump and it just reports back to the computer what the temperature of the fuel is. Since the density of the fuel can change whether it's cold or warm, so the density of the fuel is gonna be much different when it's really hot compared to when it's like freezing or something like that. And the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the engine. And this can help fine tune the engine and keep it running very well. And basically the computer's seeing a problem with this sensor, so it's gonna have to be troubleshooting to why. And so what are some possible causes? Well, it could be a bad temperature sensor. For Nissan's, these are usually located on the fuel pump usually located near the bottom of it, like this one right here. This is a metal one. If you have the option when you're buying one of these, try to get the metal one because these plastic ones, sometimes they fail. Although if you have no choice, then you may have to use a plastic one. But these plastic ones, sometimes they cause issues. So if you do need to order a new one and you do have the choice, try to get one of these metal ones since they seem to last much longer and not have as many issues. But the first thing that can cause this code is going to be a bad fuel temperature sensor. And this is usually located on the fuel pump which is usually behind the seat in the gas tank. You have to remove the whole fuel pump to get to it. You can not test these sensors if you want to. If you can find the pins coming out from the sensor that's going to the computer, you can not test the resistance of these and then match it to what it's rated to be at. And keep in mind the resistance will change depending on how cold or hot it is. But if you have a multimeter and you can find the rated resistance, you can not test these if you want to. Usually a good one will fall between two and three kilo ohms. But again, you might have to look up the rated resistance. If you test that sensor and it's good or you replace that sensor and you know it's good, then another thing that could cause this issue is gonna be something inside the wiring something inside the wiring going from the sensor on the fuel pump going to the computer there might be some kind of issue going on inside the wiring so you can go through and run some tests on that and check all the wiring and things like this you might also want to check all your fuses and be sure there's no issues there but the next thing that could cause is going to be there's some kind of issue inside the wiring and it's also possible that the PCM failed, that the vehicle's computers failed for some reason. Although this is fairly rare, usually it's either going to be a bad temperature sensor or some kind of issue in the wiring, but it is possible that the computer failed. So if you go through, you check everything else, and you know everything else is good, then you might want to go through and check out the PCM. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Nissan with the P0183 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.